Hello everybody, Sir Turtles coming here with a new series where I review custom maps and rate them out of 10 shells, 10 being the best and 0 being the absolute worst. Please write in the comments what map I should review next. Alright, now all of that is said and done, let's get on with the review. This week's custom map, The Dropper, is a very different and a very rage inducing custom map created by quite a few creators, and by a few I mean like 50. This is because the map includes many different drops which were each created by different people. One thing I have to say right off the bat is that I instantly was in love with the level designs. A lot of them were full of detail and I could just look at them with my jaw dropped and my eyes wide open. Now there are a ton of different types of drops, ranging from being splattered on the floor, to be stuck in coppers for too long that it would be easier for you to do slash kill and go again. And here's where the rage inducing part I was talking about before comes into play. Some drops are insanely difficult and took me hundreds, maybe thousands of tries before I passed them. But thinking about that, some drops really get you to think and come up with a strategy how to, well, not die. Plus the feeling of finally getting to the end of a book topic just overwhelms you with joy and self accomplishment. Now about the story, well there really actually is none, but it's clever how they separated each book topic of drops into different categories, for example science, technology, etc, etc. Plus at the end of every book topic you get a block of wall to put on a type of victory monument for a special prize and a special jump, but that is for you guys to find out, winky face. Now onto the rating I would give this map, I would give it 8 out of 10 shells simply because of its level design and everything actually working perfectly. I really did enjoy this map, I took 2 shells off though because some of the drops simply being impossible for me and I did have some issues with some telebolt blocks. But that might have been just my stupid computer. Now if I were to play this map again, I would do a couple of things. Turn down your render distance. This map contains a lot of detail and it takes a long time to load, which kind of causes lag. Another thing is that I would change my particles to minimal. This is because during your stay on the map, the amount of potions you'll consume is just massive. And the particles kind of get annoying very fast. Well, I have come to the end of my review of this custom map, and I would just like to thank you all for watching and hope you come over to my channel and go check it out.